Hi, welcome to Tashida's Lit Lounge, where literacy is lit. Today, I am reading a story called, I Knew You Could, because I knew you could. Um, this is one of my favorite stories. I love this story because it's an encouraging story. So um, if anyone's experiencing any dark moments, this is for you. Also, this story has rhyming words. This story has metaphors. This story has hyphenated compound words. So, you know, if you've been reading with me since the beginning, you know that the hyphenated compound words need to say it fast. You know, rhyming words have the same ending sounds. And then you know, oh, you don't know about metaphors yet, but we'll talk more about metaphors later. This is for the adults. The metaphors are for the people who have more wisdom. So you'll, you'll know more, you know, as you go. So, I Knew You Could, a book for all the stops in your life. I Knew You Could, a book for all the stops in your life by Craig Borfman, illustrated by Christina Ong. I knew you could, and you knew it too, that you'd come out on top after all you've been through. And from here, you'll go farther and see brand new sights. You'll face brand new hills that rise to new heights. I wish I could show you the stops that you'll visit, but that isn't my choice to make for you, is it? Instead, I can tell you some lessons and tales that I've learned and relearned in my time on the rails. your own track so you can start right away and not be held back but which track is yours well that all depends on what which way it's going and where it might end different tracks wind around over under and through so pick out the one that works best for you well the track you start out on will feel like the one you might take a few more before you are done. And now with your eyes on your new destination, start up your wheels and roll out of the station. On your new trip, you'll make plenty of stops in deep river valleys and on high mountain tops. Some will surprise you and some will be planned and you'll roll through each one saying, I think I can. You'll go through tunnels surrounded by dark and you'll wish for a light or even a spark. You might get scared or a little bit sad, wondering if maybe your track has gone bad. So here's some advice to help ease your doubt. The track you took in must also go out. So steady yourself and just keep on going. Before you know it, some light will be showing and then you'll be out heading to a new place. You'll be ready for the next tunnel you face. Sometimes you'll look up and see planes in the sky and you'll think to yourself, I wish I could fly. The cars on the roads will seem quick and free. You'll feel stuck on your track and think, I wish that was me.
But the plane might wish he could get out of the air, saying, I wish I could travel like that train down there. The cars will watch as you speed right along, and they'll say to each other, look how fast and how strong. Don't worry about not being a car or a plane. Just enjoy the trip you'll take as a train. Don't be afraid to toot your own horn if you need to be heard or there are people to warn or if being yourself just makes you so proud that you want to share it and sing it out loud. You'll follow your track through twists and through bends and stop at new stops and pick up new friends. They'll all come aboard with smiles and greetings. You'll have such great times with the people you're meeting. On the days when you're sad and feel you can't go, speak up and ask a friend for a toe. That's what friends do, so don't be afraid. You'd do the same if your friend needed aid. You might stop at some stops that you never have toured and look for new friends, but they won't come aboard. So you'll have to head out with a creak and a groan setting out once again on your track all alone. Try to remember that the world is so wide, full of all kinds of people with their own trains to ride. Just stay true to yourself as you travel your track with no second guessing and no looking back. Once you're on the right track, you'll probably say, this one is mine. I'm here to stay. Try to enjoy the track that you choose. Stop now and then to take in the views. If you rush forward as a general rule before you arrive, you could run out of fuel. Don't overwork, but save up some strength. That way, every day, you can travel great lengths. You'll need all that strength on the days when you're stuck, or tired, or sad or just out of luck. When your belief in yourself doesn't feel quite so pure and your I think I can doesn't sound quite so sure. That's when to push and to strive and to strain to show the world you're not a giving up train. And you're wise if you know that you're doing your best means that sometimes you should just slow down and rest. Speeding through your whole trip will bring only sorrow. So slow down today to be happy tomorrow. There's more about life that you'll learn as you go because figuring things out on your own helps you grow. Just trust in yourself and you'll climb every hill. Say, I think I can. And you know what? You will. I knew you could. 
Thank you for listening. I hope you come back and visit. Please like and subscribe. It helps. It helps Tashi does a bit lounge. So, you know, just hit like and subscribe, share, you know, share with your friends. And um, please come back again. I'm adding varieties as much as I can so people can choose the books that they enjoy. Have a good day.